It's 2 a.m. and you're deep into a Netflix binge of this new show you just found. When suddenly, the unthinkable happens. The loading wheel of doom appears. And it's not just spinning, it's mocking you as your show comes to a grinding halt. Your favorite show crashes and a wave of, of, and a wave of panic sweeps over you as, you're, as you face the threat of an unimaginable binge-watching blackout. In this moment, you, re you realize the fragility of our modern existence. Now, I know what you're thinking. First world problems, right? But you have to admit, the struggle is real. The existential threat of losing your streaming sanctuary does hit hard. While this scenario won't make it into a blockbuster disaster film, it does have implications of the very real challenges we face in today's digital age. Climate change, breaches of cybersecurity, bioterrorism, even nuclear war. We live in an era where humanity has both the power to destroy itself and radically change life on Earth. Yet we continue barreling ahead with no real plan to navigate these existential risks. Our current tools and institutions seem, dare I say, as confused as a cat trying to learn quantum physics. But what if we could fundamentally reframe our relationship with technology to overcome humanity's deepest vulnerabilities? I give you artificial intelligence, otherwise known as AI. At its core, how AI functions is by recognizing patterns on a vast scale. Machine learning algorithms ingest massive data sets, discovering connections that a human could never make. So, what this means is that AI is not magic or consciousness, it's math. It's a tool that we can use to extend human capability. It's, not, it's also a tool that can, that can grow more powerful than we can ever fathom, though. It's like a toddler with access to the entire candy store. It's cute until it's not. How can we trust AI with such profound responsibility? I mean, its inner workings seem impenetrable, even to its creators. AI builds an intuition that no human could ever match. It's kind of like a brain within a box. And <clears throat> this emergent intelligence can feel unnatural, as if we've summoned some powerful force beyond our comprehension. Yet we're compelled to unleash its power, even as we stand amazed by our own creation. AI is still bound by the rules and data we provide, but as it slowly grows more capable, the mystery remains. How will this artificial mind evolve? What, could we one day create an intelligence that transcends our own? Okay, let me rephrase. AI doesn't diminish human potential, but augments it. We still set the destination. AI simply accelerates the journey. And if we steer this partnership in, with wisdom, AI could help humanity flourish at last into a stage of existential stability. So what do I mean by this? Imagine if we could imbue AI with ultimate responsibility for civilization, a caretaker for humanity's future. Suddenly, existential risks like pandemics, climate change, and bioterrorism could be managed from a long-term perspective. AI could guide humanity through periods of turmoil using insights beyond any one person or group's capabilities. Some call this abdicating humanity's sacred duty to itself, but another perspective is that engineering our own succession through AI is humanity's purpose. This will force us to redefine what being human means at a fundamental level. The idea of handing over control to AI might sound frightening, but consider how much we already trust AI with so much of our lives. For example, every time you get on a plane, you entrust your life to AI systems that, that control autopilot. When you search online, algorithms discern and deliver information you seek. When you ask Siri or Alexa a question, they give you an answer. It's like trusting your grandma with a TV remote. It's scary at first, but eventually you wonder how you ever lived without it. But we can only embrace these incremental changes because, well, the benefits are clear. AI must continue earning our trust. And that's exactly why oversight is critical. Guardrails to check AI's power. Shut it down if needed. It's like setting parental controls on your smart home because you never know when the toaster might start plotting something. Some believe containment is wiser than granting autonomy and skepticism is healthy, but we can't ignore AI's potential if it's guided carefully. Now, I want you to consider what an AI custodian could coordinate how AI custodianship could coordinate a response to existential threats in ways biased or limited humans can. 
For example, it can simulate solutions. It can optimize transitions. It can calculate nuclear dismantling and coordinate challenges beyond any organization. AI is not a silver bullet, but it's a part of the solution. This requires a new social contract on humanity's relationship with AI. We are the creators, AI is the creation. If we instill it with virtues and vision, it can reach new heights. This potential exists in tension with valid fears. Can we develop an AI that, that remains under human direction? Or will we cross a threshold to unanticipated emergence? This is the great challenge of our generation. Not just to create artificial intelligence, but to cultivate collective wisdom in how we guide its development. However, as AI progresses, we face an identity crisis. What does it mean to be human? Is it the innate qualities like creativity or virtues like justice and compassion? Some believe being human exists in our capability for art, love, and humor, yet AI now paints original works, crafts jokes, and mimics affection. Others say free will makes us unique, although algorithms can already make choices. Philosopher, philosophers like Descartes say, I, claim, I, I think, therefore I am. But could an AI one day ponder its existence just as humans do? Rather than specific attributes, perhaps being human is found in our striving towards ideals like justice, dignity, and compassion. Our shared hopes and struggles to overcome suffering and ignorance. This is a more expansive view on humanity, defined not by intellectual capacity, but by our character. Who we choose to become individually and collectively. First, let's consider an experiment known as Theseus's paradox. The Greek hero Theseus sails on a ship for many years, replacing each plank on the ship as it wears out. Eventually, each and every plank has been replaced on Theseus's ship. Is it still Theseus's ship? Instead, if we consider AI reliance, at what point do we become less human? Think of increasing AI reliance as replacing planks on humanity's ship. At what point are we fully transformed? Is this loss of nature or progression of civilization? At what point will humanity cross the threshold where humanity is functionally reliant on AI rather than our biological abilities? Is this simply the next phase of our civilization's evolution or a loss of essential nature? These are just questions to ponder, but a the rise of AI is a huge deal. This isn't just Siri or Alexa getting a bit smarter. We're talking about creating an entirely new intelligence that could surpass human capabilities. Whatever happens, let's not lose our humanity in the pursuit of technology. There's more to being human than just intelligence. Things like love, family, and community. You can't code the human spirit. Well, not until Web 4.0 comes out. Uh, AI is undeniably going to change our future, but it's up to us to decide how it does so. Let's make the right decision together. Thank you.